Hey, what's up guys? Drew here over at Rough Hiker Outdoors and I got a video for you today. Uh, this is another episode of Knife Thursday and I'm going to be talking about EDC knife systems and this is kind of a blended thing. It's knives but it's also some of the other stuff I carry for EDC so stick around. So basically I, I wanted to talk a little bit about what knife you should choose or what knives you should choose for your everyday carry and how to go about choosing them and a lot of that is going to depend on what you're using them for. Now there's always looks and price and all that kind of stuff but what are you really going to be using the knife for uh, and you should have something appropriate to what what the day will call for. Now for me I don't always know what my day will call for and if I'm out riding the motorcycle or if I'm out hunting or if I'm out camping or hike, you know doing all these different things I might need different knives for different tasks and, and even in my everyday life as I go through my normal tasks for the the church and some of my other jobs and stuff like that I, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna face so I usually carry more than one knife and by usually I mean pretty much always um, now that seems excessive to people but when I've explained it to them they understand that the knives that I carry are more like a system than it is just carrying knives for the sake of carrying knives. So one thing I do want to ask you is to maybe put the the knives that you commonly carry or why you think it's ridiculous to carry more than one or how many you carry or just put that kind of stuff in the comments. I'm always curious to see what you guys are are carrying but first off um, I, I have my primary knife so let me just jump into this uh, and that's gonna be a folding knife. Now all of my primary knives at the moment that I currently carry are Benchmade's. A lot of reasons for that, I'm not going to get into it, um, but there's a reason that I've sold all the others that I've had uh, and from every major big brand and some other uh, high-end stuff too, So, but I've settled on Benchmade. Anyway, um, I might carry my 940. This is a, this is a staple. This is like my all-time favorite. Um, and then right along with that, uh, right now that is at least equal to it. I mean this 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 might be like a co all-time favorite. This is the mini Crooked River. This is an excellent knife. Um, I'm also really liking the Benchmade Fact, the 417 Fact. I like that a lot. And I've got the full-size Crooked River. This is, you carry this when you're feeling big and bad because this is, this is a pretty big knife for your pocket. Um, any bigger than this I don't think I would carry. Uh, and then I also have my Benchmade Contigo, which is due in tomorrow from LifeSharp Service. I wanted to test out uh, Benchmade's customer service and all that stuff, so I sent a couple knives in that had minor little things with them, and I uh, wanted to see how they did with them. So there will be a review coming on their customer service shortly. Um, so these would be like my main knives, okay? This would be left pocket, which for me is strong side. I'm left-handed, so these would ride in my left pocket, or if I was right-handed, be my right pocket, be my dominant side, okay? This is what gets used the most. This is my go-to blade. Usually in my weak side pocket, I'll carry a smaller knife or a small multi-tool like um, a Swiss Army knife. Um, this one probably gets carried the most. Um, this was a gift from a friend. Thanks, dude. That was really cool of you. Um, a friend on... on um, Instagram blade collector. Um, so anyway, uh, I got a little pocket clip that I made out of this and, and this just kind of dangles in my pocket and I really like it. What I carry the most though for my secondary blade is this little slip joint. This is the Benchmade Proper. Another excellent knife. Really like this. Not locking, not threatening. This would come out in places where uh, if I pulled out another knife there might be someone that gets weird about it. Now some people say, well, who cares if they get weird? Well, I kind of do. No purpose in just offending people for the sake of offending them. So this is usually what comes out if I'm uh, around my kids, friends, parents, or there's kids, you know what I mean? Like you pull out one of these and some parents just look at you like you're a nutbag. Um, so I don't know. I just this, this is good for small tasks and for when there's people around. And sometimes I just like a slip joint. Sometimes I just carry this. But anyway, so I have my main blade, which is usually, you know, three and a half inches or so, uh, or a little bit more, three and a half to four and a half. 
uh, and then this, which is about three, uh, you know, three or under is a good a good place to be. Um, you know, this this Swiss Army knife, I believe this is the it's not the Pioneer, it's the Cadet. I also have the Pioneer, um, but you know, just something small like this is very nice. And sometimes when you carry a multi tool, it's nice to have a couple of the other little things on there. Um, or you can carry something like a case or a Great Eastern Cutlery or Northwoods if you have a ton of money. Um, but just something smaller like this, less intimidating, okay? Um, and I generally use my secondary blade for little dinky things um, that might dull it up because I want to save my main blade. Now, getting into the last knife that I will carry, and some people, you might carry, it might not. It might not be on my person, but it's with me, okay? Um, one thing that I, I sometimes will carry on my person, this is an Anchor Forge. Um, this is a, a custom-made knife uh, that, that a friend of mine gave to me, uh, very generous. And this is just like a nice little fixed blade. It's pretty beefy. I like having a fixed blade in my EDC system, okay? Um, especially when I'm doing anything outdoors. If I'm just around the house or just at the church, you know, I'll still have one, but I rarely need it. But there are, there have been many times where I was very thankful I had a fixed blade um, for heavy duty stuff or sometimes even prying stuff in an emergency. And that brings me to um, my EDC bag. This always comes with me. I've got stuff like, uh, you know, my, my tablet for work. I can even throw my smaller laptop in here. I've got pens and all that stuff. I've got charging cores. I've got um, battery packs to recharge stuff. And then in this front pocket, this is Blackhawk, by the way. I got this thing on clearance at Gander Mountain when they were going out of business for like 18 bucks. It was normally like 70. So smash that deal. Um, this is always there. This is my SE3. I love this knife. This is one of the best knives I've ever owned. This is this is incredible. So. I bring this with me. This is a great hunting knife. This is a great everyday carry knife. I've carried this just in my pocket with this clip, but I really like keeping it in the front pocket of this bag, uh, just as like a backup thing for if I really need something heavy duty. I also carry a bigger flashlight than what I carry in my pocket. This is the Through Night uh, Neutron 2C. Uh, good battery life, just a good light. I keep it there. And then I also keep my Leatherman charge TTI for a full multi-tool and any other stuff I need. There's also some bits and stuff in here for that, but very handy stuff. Um, so that's kind of my system. I pick my main blade, which is going to be my left pocket. Then I pick my, my secondary blade, which is, you know, usually a smaller slip joint just for little stuff. And, and I use those, you know, just depending on the situation. Sometimes I won't use them, but whatever. I like to have a second one on me. And then I carry a fixed blade, whether it's this or whether I throw this in the bag. These are two good options. Um, and there's many other fixed blades. I usually, you can throw something bigger. If I know I'm gonna be in the woods, I might take one of these. Uh, the Benchmade Purdue Hunter, which I love that knife. Uh, this is the Benchmade Bushcrafter. If I'm really gonna be doing some heavy stuff, I'll throw this or my Falcon Even S1 or something like that in there. Uh, but for my EDC system, I really do like having at least two knives. If, even if I'm not carrying a small secondary, which I don't all the time, um, I'll definitely have my main blade, my, my pocket blade, um, and then I'll have a fixed blade as well. And you know what's kind of funny is when I carry this thing, it's actually, it has a longer blade than my fixed blade. Um, the Benchmade Crooked River is just such a huge folder. I, I love this thing. Um, you carry this thing around and, and you feel like you could just like get whatever done. Uh, you know, if a bear attacked, you'd be okay. Um, I, I don't know. I just like that knife. Um, but truthfully, I, I carry its little brother much, much more. Um, this knife's hard to get out of my pocket, the Mini Crooked River. This and the, and the 940, I think, are the two best EDC blades ever produced by anybody anywhere. Uh, and that's, that's just my opinion. You know what they say about opinions, they're like armpits. Everybody's got a couple, and most of them stink. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share kind of my everyday carry knife system with you and you know, get a little glimpse of some of the other stuff that I carry. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Please comment below with your favorite knives to carry on a daily basis, what you carry, and all that stuff. I love to read those comments. 
God bless you guys as always, and I will catch you next time.